Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today here at Two Wheel Thunder TV. We're at the V Twin Show in Cincinnati, Ohio. It's cold as Hades outside, but it's hot here with Arlen Ness and the Arlen Ness product booth. Arlen, appreciate you joining us hey, today, my friend. Thanks for stopping over. What's happening now with, with all the Arlen Ness products and Victory? Well, Victory, we're, uh, we're, our partnership with them is going great. We've uh, got a whole bunch of stuff coming for the future and some of the new bikes, that uh, things that they're doing, it's, uh, it's all going to be great. Uh, new Indians, and uh, we've seen uh, some of the prototypes, and uh, boy, we're uh, we're all signed up to be a dealer too. For oh, the for the Indian. Indian. Oh, Absolutely. that ought to be cool. There's just some breaking news. Yeah, that's, there you uh, go. Yeah, that's going to be uh, real exciting. And the bike is beautiful. So. Is it really? Yeah. Have you got to ride one yet? I've got to ride one yet, but we've we've seen it, and we're uh, already gearing up to make some some accessories for it. <laughs> Everybody likes Imagine to ride their bike. So, yeah. Uh, well, I know Corey and, and, and Wayne and everybody will explain all the different parts and accessories that we'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, but you're doing really well with the Victory, and the Victory product has just come a long way. Yeah, yeah. We've, it's, we've been with them 10 years now already, and uh, every year gets better, and the bikes get uh, selling more and more, and uh, you got a lot of happy customers. And, of course, that's what we ride now. It's, i got a got a bunch of Harleys. You know, but most of them don't go anywhere serious. I'm usually riding to victory. <laughs> you sound like a lot of guys we've been talking to, like Rick Fairless down in Dallas. Yeah. I never thought I would see the day that Rick would uh, sell his Harley. I got a call from uh, Lena, his daughter, the other day. and Jimmy, uh, Dad's selling his bike. I thought, uh, you got the right phone number? Yeah. And uh, she did. And uh, so, I mean, he's moving more toward that. But a lot of other guys are riding victories. I mean, uh, we just came from Sonny Barger's home, and uh, him and Z rides. Yeah, absolutely. He and, loves it. And they put some serious miles on those bikes. And uh, from talking to him, he doesn't ride them too gently either. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. That uh, first vision, uh, in 08 when they come out, uh, I know he put a, probably 90,000 on it at least. And then, he, <laughs> and then the uh, cross country come out. And he wanted uh, wanted to try cross country, so he sold the sold the uh, the vision to I think one of the members, and then he got the new cross country. And, and I know he loves both of them, so he does love them both. And uh, they're in the new movie that he has out now, uh, Dead and Five Heartbeats. And we'll just throw a little plug in there for that. Uh, but uh, they're doing a real good job. He loves the bikes, and Victory as a whole, the technology has just come so far. Suspension is better, the ride's better. Power. Power, uh, the tranny. Uh, what else can they improve on? Yeah, if, if there is something, they'll do it. They, 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 they'll, they'll spend the money for tooling. They're not scared to do that, I'll tell you. But to make it better, they'll do it. Well, you know, that, that commercial they have or whatever, they say, if you ride one, you'll own one. And, oh, with Gunny Emery, yeah. Boy, and that's, that's so true. If you can get somebody to test ride, they'll, they'll eventually be riding one. Well, and having old Gunny up there, yeah, uh, Gunny Emery. I know Gunny, you know, he's an old Marine, and uh, he he comes across as a very gentle, easygoing kind of guy, you know. He's really not that way in real life. He's an old gunnery sergeant in the Marine Corps. We don't come across that way. We're not known for being nice. We're known for getting stuff done. Right. And if you can convince him to endorse a product like that, you're doing something right to get old Gunny involved like that because. Uh, that's just the way he is. Uh, I think he's got three or four victories personally himself. You know. Does he? Yeah, he, he really believes in them too. So. <laughs> well, he, he's a surprising man, but he's a, he's a good Marine. Good Marine, outstanding Marine. Uh, he served 12 years, I believe, active in our Corps. Did a hell of a job in the Marine Corps. Uh, as a drill instructor, everybody loved him in the Marine Corps. Now, he's a little bit tough. Yeah. No, but fine. the Marine Corps he's, he's is, good. but then Victory is also, so that's a good match. You're talking old crusty barnacle covered gunnery sergeant, and then you put him on a motorcycle, it better hold up or he's going to rip it all apart. That's right. And uh, he praises them pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. What they say, if you ride one, you'll own one. Well, I guess I got to start doing that more often, huh? Yeah. I've test ridden several of them, but all our test bikes are still with the HDs. And, we're going to have to make that crossover someday, and when we do, we'll, we'll break it to you 
gently, but we'll get it done. Yeah. Arlen, you've got crowds of people all around you waiting to see you. We appreciate the time with you every year. Uh, thank you for your time and your contribution to the to the sport and to all the new innovations. Thank you. Uh, you're the well, godfather we, we of this. We love energy. to do. You know, that's, we love working on motorcycles. We all of us got the passion for them, so it's not even really work. You know. How long? I mean, I don't, I don't even know if I can ask this question on camera, but I'm going to. How long have you been doing this? I've been building bikes for 50 years. 50 years. Yeah. I got my uh, first bike, I think, in, in 61 or 62, and, uh, and I've been in business uh, 42 years, mm -hmm. actually owning a store, you know, but I was started out by, you know, building my bikes at home. And, uh, what was your first bike? I read that somewhere. And I a knucklehead, 47 knuckle, knuckle, and I still have it. And you still have it? Yeah, it's in the museum. Wow. Incredible. Well, we'll talk to Corey and Zach about all the new product designs and all the new stuff that you've got going there a little later. Good. But uh, thanks for your time and thanks for your contribution to the industry. Because if it wasn't for guys like you, we wouldn't have the bikes that we do today and we wouldn't have the, the tremendous technology and then all the cool stuff that you've come out with. Yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of good guys out there doing it too, so it just makes the industry good, you know, makes it, well, makes you, it stronger. It does, but... Uh, this is kind of like the godfather of the whole industry right here. I mean, the oldest one. The oldest one? Probably the oldest. Well, I, maybe the oldest one, but with age comes a lot of wisdom and a lot of experience. And this gentleman has it. I mean, he's the Leonardo da Vinci of creating stuff. So, Arlen, appreciate it, my friend. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Thanks for joining us today here on Two Wheel Thunder TV. We appreciate it.